Bashar al Halabi, who's a political analyst and joins us from uh, Istanbul. I just want to pick up on what uh, Altaf said. The, there is a lot of anger. Uh, towards the government uh, 30 days since that explosion. What do you make of the way that government has handled um, everything in the past month? Hello. Uh, what, what I can share on a personal level with you is that my friends have been on the ground since uh, yesterday evening. Uh, they were the ones who also pressured the uh, Lebanese military, the Lebanese army, who decided to call it a night at uh, around uh, 9 p.m. Uh, and and uh, leave the excavation um, till, till the next morning uh, as if we can afford to wait uh, those very precious hours before um, trying to uncover the rubble from, uh, or uncover at least uh, the uh, casualties from underneath the rubble. So this says one, uh, one thing about everyone in power right now in Lebanon, whether it's the um, head of the military, whether it is the president, the head of uh, the prime minister, designate everyone. The, those people are morally bankrupt because in the past, uh, Two three weeks. What have been the, what have been they dis, uh, discussing? Nothing. They didn't discuss. Uh, they didn't uh, inform us about uh, how the investigation is taking place. Nor did they engage in any form of uh, further humanitarian and rescue work. It was all left to the people, to the networks built by citizens on the ground in order to do that. And on top of that, the morally bankrupt person is the French President Emmanuel Macron, who came to Lebanon, who masqueraded in that area specifically, and who has been discussing for the past two weeks, uh, two days, uh, what kind of political system Lebanon should be heading to and the reforms Lebanon should be impl uh, implementing, while the only thing we still demand up until this moment is justice mm. and accountability and to tell us what happened on August 4 in Lebanon. Altaf, and uh, back to Macron, he says he's there to help and uh, to put in place uh, the, the mechanism that the international community wants for uh, money, aid to get to the people of Lebanon. What do you make of that? Isn't that uh, something that's important for the country? Yes, of course, uh, the aid is important. But however, what Lebanon reads, uh, needs right now is accountability and justice ahead of propping up this current sectarian ruling elite, which President Emmanuel Macron sat with in Lebanon, discussed the form of, of governance that should take place in the coming uh, weeks, and actually decided to uh, invest or in inject money, that the aid money, into the system, which uh, this uh, current sectarian ruling elite desperately needs because it has lost all its legitimacy since October 17, back in, uh, since the protest movement erupted in Lebanon, up until the uh, massive explosion that hit the heart of the city uh, in, in August, on August 4. So the humanitarian aid is much needed. However, uh, there should also, it should be also coupled with Mm -hmm. uh, reforms, political reforms, and not only economic uh, reforms like the ones uh, proposed by, by President Macron. Basha, also, by we'll have to leave it there. We've run out of time. You right. raised so many Thank important you. points. Uh, really appreciate it. Bashar Al-Halabi.